Hello guys and welcome back to Excel Show Academy. So guys, today we'll be doing homologous recombination. Okay. So this is part of the genetics also, and uh, this we are going to use in order to understand like how the DNA repair is also happening. Okay. So this is also part of DNA repair. Okay. So homologous recombination. So what happens in the homologous recombination? So it is the exchange of the segments, okay? So genetic material between the homologous gene sequences of the chromosome. So you know, and this happens during the meiosis. We have studied it, right? So between the homologous chromosome, so the sister chromatids, okay? So either they are going to have the uh, uh, recombination over there, right? So this also we'll study in detail when we'll do the cell uh, biology. But I am sure that everyone knows about the meiosis and uh, the crossing over happens in the packetine, right? Now, in prokaryotes, it occurs during the conjugation, transformation, and transduction. Where genetic material is exchanged. Okay? So, already in, uh, the example of conjugation we have seen in the case of F plus and F minus plasmid. Do you remember, guys? This was already taken when we were talking about different modes of replication, right? Now, in the transformation, also, you know when a uh, certain amount of heat shock is given. Uh, or sometimes you use certain chemical reagents which will make the cell wall permeable for the genetic material then the cell uh, then the transformation is happening so again what does it mean it means from the outside environment the cell is taking up the dna so again there is a exchange of your genetic material okay then transaction with the help of the viruses so in all the scenario what we see is that there is exchange of genetic material okay now there are different models for homologous recombination of which first one we are going to discuss is about the holiday model okay so of course this name i mean it's not for the holiday but this is the name is given by the robin holiday okay this was a guy who actually uh, found for the first time in 1964 okay so that's why it is known as holiday model okay <clears throat> so it is also known as heteroduplex model because this model also explains the recombination between short homologous sequences between the two heteroduplexes. Are you able to follow? This sentence is very important to understand. Okay. It is also known as heteroduplex. Okay. Why? Because the recombination is happening between the heteroduplex, two heteroduplex of the homologous sequences, it is happening. Now, how it is formed, we'll see one by one with the figure. So first two homologous DNA molecules are need to get aligned with each other and the nick is introduced in both double-stranded DNA at the same position. Okay. So what did we say That the homologous DNA, it should be <clears throat> homologous chromosome, they should be aligned like this. Okay. Then a nick should be made at the same position in the two double-stranded DNA position. Then the strand which is next to the neck get unpaired to its complementary strand and free to invade the near aligned double strand DNA at the same location where the neck is formed. Is kya matlab hai? This strand is going to invade this position and this strand is going to invade this. So this is known as strand invasion. Okay. Thoda's idea hai. If you have seen the uh, figure like the period which I have shown, then you will get clear idea. So after invasion, it base pairs with the homologous region within the double-stranded DNA and it forms a holiday junction. And this step, okay, this procedure, this step is known as the strand invasion. Okay, let me show you the figure. Okay, so this is a different figure I have taken because I felt that this is more, uh, what to say, more clear than the, uh, the PDF which I have shared with you guys. Okay, so are you able to follow, right? Shruti, are you able to follow? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, we just have started only, and uh, I'll be taking this topic <laughs> today. Okay, so what is happening? So, as I said, two homologous chromosomes they need to align side by side. So, okay, we have aligned, and you can see that capital B, capital A, small a, small b. What does it all represent? It represents they are gene alleles. Okay, so they are alleles. So, homologous chromosomes are there. Now, what is happening is that a nick should be formed at the same position. Can you see? So the the side by side, the sister chromatid have, usme aapka nick hoga first. 
then a free end of each broken strand migrates to the other dna molecule can you see it starts migrating like this and this will start migrating like that and now what is happening it's a single stranded dna break is there okay so if suppose gap was there in few cases what happens is that <coughs> when this nick is made certain nucleotides are chopped off okay iska matlab kya they have been removed so a gap will be present so we know that whenever there is a single strand or double strand gap is there your dna pol 1 will come and start synthesizing a dna and ligase will come and seal the dna okay so you can see over here the strand invasion starts and they get sealed to the respective opposite sister chromatids okay so each invading strand joins to the broken end of the other dna molecule creating a holiday junction which begins to display the original complementary strand can you see ab yahan pe kya ho gaya so this entire thing is known as the holiday junction now the uh, then the person holiday he also suggested that it depends the alignment how this junction is being formed it is going to have two products okay either it is called the recombinant products or the non recombinant products crossover products or non crossover products we have the other words also they are also known as splice products or they are also known as patch products theek hai ye sare alag alag naam hai and uh, but it means all the same okay is this much clear to everyone abhi humne sirf holiday junction tak gaye hain okay now branch migration so it doesn't stop till there only it is going to migrate and now this is happening this migration is only possible see isme kya hoga <coughs> sorry of course it is going to break the uh, hydrogen bonds between these and it is going to form the hydrogen bond between these now why it is possible because they are homologous chromosome and hence they are sharing the complementary base pair correct is this much clear why the branch migration was possible yes can we clear it yes ma'am okay okay so this is how it is going to migrate okay okay now it is going to get rotate so this forms the branch point now look at over here first it was straight and look at see this figure humne kaise diya red and red blue hai then blue red and pura blue hai okay aise thoda yaad rakh lo now look at over here how they have oh, got open up so they got oriented correct are you able to imagine this thing ho raha hai imagine ho raha hai yeah mm hmm okay clear now <clears throat> again <clears throat> so now we have got two options what are those two options so after this step holiday junction gets cleave and this step is known as resolution of holiday junction yani ki kya mujhe isko abhi solve karna hai we can't have aise chipke hue two sister chromatids right we want to release them out so there are two methods by which it can be done that is either you can have cut in this direction this is your first side okay or you can have cut in this direction okay now let's go one by one so if suppose you have first this vertical plane wala cut so what is going to happen then kya kya join hoga this is going to remain as it is can you see this this much red and blue this is going to remain as it is okay so we have red and we have got blue like this okay next what we have is red itna sa and blue sorry blue over here okay are you able to follow guys this one when the cut is made i'm going to get this red which gets rejoined to this much portion of the blue so i'm getting this strand so this is one product i'm getting clear 
Yes, blue. Okay. Yes, Similarly, blue. over here, I'm going to have blue. Okay. And this chota sa rahega. And then I'm going to have, see, red. And this one stretch of red. Okay. So let's see this also. So this is no problem. So this is the stretch you have over here. Okay. Ye, red lamba sa. And then chota blue. Then you have got blue and then red. Okay. Now looking at these two products, okay, this is the second product. What do you think? Are they similar to the parental? Parental kya the? Right? Are they similar to parental? Any of the strand is similar to parental? Hmm? What do you think? This is one product. This is another product. Do you guys think that it is similar to the parental? No, mm -hmm. right? Because none of the strand is having the parental copy. Both here also, here also, both the strands are having half up of each, right? So that's why it is known as the crossover product. Okay. Like in few textbook, it will be known as crossover product or recombinant products or, or um, splice product. Okay. So these are the different uh, synonyms you can have for this condition. Uh, whenever you have such recombinants, okay, so you can see that the crossover product is totally different from the parents. It means it is 100% recombinant. Correct? So... The scientists, like the genetists, they will understand that the holiday junction in that the cleavage of the DNA has happened in the vertical plane. Abhi theek hai? So looking at the recombinance percentage, you can tell how much, uh, sorry, in what direction the holiday junction has been resolved. Are you getting the point? Okay, so this is how looking at the percentage of the recombinance, you can tell whether the holiday junction was resolved either in the vertical plane or in the horizontal plane. Let's see horizontal plane also. See, you can see in figure here itself. So if I make a cut like this. Okay. So I am going to have complete blue strand over here and another one with this much blue and this much red and blue. Okay. So blue, sorry. So I'm going to have blue, then blue and over here blue and then red. So this is one product. Okay. When I make a cut over here. Now next, next I'm going to have complete red. Okay. Complete red, then red over here and this red over here and blue. Now, so here you can say that 50% of the parental copy is present yes because your this strand and this strand is completely of parental correct so and if you see here you know ek chota blue ek chota red ek chota blue and because of this it is also known as patch okay able to follow guys now look at over here yes ma'am so if i had vertical cleavage of the double stranded DNA, I'm going to get, uh, sorry, sorry, ulta bolde yaha pe. If I do vertical cleavage, then I'm going to get the crossover recombinants. Okay. If I do horizontal cleavage, then I'm going to get non-crossover recombinants. So where you can see the parental, uh, parental strands are also there. So the holiday model predicts non-crossover or crossover recombinant DNA depending on whether the cleavage is in the horizontal or the vertical plane. Is it clear, guys? Clear hai ye? Holiday yes. model? Yeah. So is my base question kaise aata hai? They will give you certain percentage of the gene array. Ki aisa hai recombinant. Like this much percentage is recombinant. This much percentage is of the a non recombinant Then you have to guess whether it is the cleavage of the holiday junction at the horizontal plane or in the vertical plane. So if you could remember this much, the figure and all, then it is easy. Okay. And holiday model, so we will easy. Okay.
now this is a video which i have got uh, from youtube itself this is the link okay so let's listen to this okay uh, very beautifully they have shown how the uh, you know the homologous strands are getting rotated and the rotation is very important because hum 2d mein dikha nahi pate okay so this video they have shown very nicely i'm just going to play for you guys listen to that also okay Handing homologous recombination by using Holiday model. At first, we are taking here two homologous double-stranded DNA molecules aligned with each other, which have different alleles of the same gene. In Holiday model, at first, on both the DNA duplexes, single-stranded nicks are formed at the same position. Then, the strand invasion occur. In this tape of homologous recombination, initial short regions of best pairing form between the two recombining DNA duplex near the nex, and a holiday junction is formed. It is the region where two DNA duplexes form a cross-like structure of DNA strands. On the other hand, each of the nex strand can easily best pairs with the uncleaved strands of the opposite duplex because of having the same or almost similar sequence on both the duplexes. Now, the branch migration occurs in which the holiday junction moves by melting and forming the best pairs repeatedly. In the parental DNA molecules, best pairs are broken. and in the recombination intermediate identical best pairs are formed the dna duplexes have very small sequence differences as they have the different alleles of the same gene so after branch migration the new dna duplex will have a few sequence mismatches at those regions these regions are named as heteroduplex dna at the last step of dna recombination the holiday junction is cleaved regenerating two separate dna duplexes this process is called resolution for better understanding here the holiday structure is being rotated to have a plain structure without crossing strands resolution has two possible sides each side can give different outcome after cleaving The first cut site can be the pair of strands which were uncut during the first step of recombination and having single color they can be easily identified. As a result the original DNA duplexes are spliced together in the resulting duplexes so they are named as spliced recombination product. The resulting duplex will have a region of one pair of identical alleles from one parent, a region having heteroduplex DNA and a pair of alleles from other parent. In the last region, the C allele have switched from one duplex to another. So this is called the crossover region and thus the product is also called the crossover product. The second cut site can be the pair of strands which were nicked during the first step and they have mixed colors. As a result, the product have a patch of hybrid DNA, so they are called patch recombination product. The product is also called non-crossover product as the A and C alleles have not changed their position in the new product. and remains identical like the parental duplex handing home okay yes <clears throat> any doubts i hope the video was useful like in getting the uh, in clearing your imagination as well yeah yes yes one second one second huh? हाँ बोलो व्हेन यू सेड दैट देयर आर टू नेक्स्ट फॉर्म 
at the same site on both the uh, chromosomes how are they formed see whenever recombination is required then the nick will be formed we have already discussed my endonucleases are there which results in the nick formation if you remember when we were talking about the repair okay when we were doing the repair so we said mm -hmm. na agar yahan pe damage hai okay so you just don't if you remember in the ner also we just yeah. don't remove this entire this much strand is removed right so we make a yeah. nick this is done by the yeah, yeah. nucleus hai na so yeah, all but there is there is no there is no problem over there there is no reason for the nick to form in the, in this particular case because that the is DNA a requirement is fine, right? no no it's a requirement स होता है म्योसिस के टाइम पे वाई इट इज हैिंग इट्स अ रिक्वायरमेंट सो दैट दैट इज कमिंग ऑस्प्रिंग जो भी आपका जो सेल है या जो भी आपका बन रहा है इट हैज गॉट द जेनेटिक डाइवर्सिटी जेनेटिक डाइवर्सिटी इज द नीड ऑफ एवोल्यूशन ओके हाँ नाउ आई मीन इज इट क्लियर नाउ वाई दिस निक वॉज देयर एंड वाई दिस इज रिकॉम्बिनेशन इज हैिंग इट इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दी यू नो टू बिकम Uh, yeah why was why was clear already the genetic huh. diversity part it's just that if the nucleus forms a nick even though there was no requirement to form the nick as an evolutionarily yes but then huh. technically there is no problem over there is okay <clears throat> okay so now if that is clear then these are the other models ab kaise hota hai why when you say everything na model iska matlab kya hota hai it has not been seen you know from the uh, what to say it's not seen directly it is just guessed uh, by looking at the electron microgram or, or other chromosome karyotypes and all okay ye sab dekh ke humne guess kiya hai like uh, of course over here is the measles and the radding so they have understood like this ki aisa hua hoga theek hai agar unko kuch proof ho jata hai then it is a confirmed one okay the mechanism is confirmed now in this case okay it is alternate of the holiday model here instead of having the two nick in the dna strand only a single dna strand is getting nick okay and that strand is getting displaced and creating a holiday junction agar wo cheez clear hai to ye sab bhi simple ho jayega so you have got the uh, dna okay so ab homologous uh, homologous base homologous pairing ho gaya hai so here you can see that only one is there because of the endonucleus and this strand is going into the other one and Uh, uh, the process, the step is called the strand invasion, right? <coughs> Now, when you say something in dot dot dot, उसका क्या मतलब होता है? That the DNA pol one is synthesizing the one. Okay. Now, are you able to follow? See, this one is getting this one. Nick हो गया. This one is getting this place. This place means the hydrogen bonds are broken it is coming and it is attacking to the other one okay ye jo dot dot dikh raha hai iska matlab dna pol bana ke wahan pe jo gap create ho raha hai usko fill kar raha hai okay next so again then the ligation is happening so either you can have like this or like this and ye aapka join ho jayega see if you see the ligation uh, yahan pe difference dekho theek hai so th again this is forming a holiday junction over here correct right so if you have got the again the horizontal resolution then you can see that i'm having the parental strand can you see okay yes ma'am okay now here also it just depends on how the branch is getting migrated again if you see i have here again the parental strand iska matlab it was horizontal cleavage If I don't see any parental strand, it means it was vertical. Simple. So this is how you need to understand the resolution. अब वो depend करता है कि उस time कैसे branch migrate हुआ है. So like in the video you have seen यहाँ से शुरू होके वो यहाँ तक गया. It's not necessary. वो वहाँ पे भी खत्म हो सकता था. बीच में खत्म हो सकता था. यहाँ end में आके खत्म हो सकता था. So it depends on that time like what proteins are involved and what are the conditions which is favoring the uh, recombination. Okay. simple now the other one when you have a double strand break so this holiday junction is again helping in repairing a single double strand break is generated in one of the chromatids iska matlab kya see 
यू हैव दी होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम बट अभी पहले क्या था इन द फर्स्ट सीनारियो वी सॉ दैट द ब्रेक वॉज हियर एंड द ब्रेक वॉज हियर करेक्ट सेकेंड में हमने क्या देखा ओनली सिंगल स्टैंड ब्रेक था नाउ वॉट डू वी सी इज दैट इन द सेम क्रोमोजोम यू हैव गॉट दू ब्रेक ओके now this needs to undergo the strand invasion so what they are going to do is they make a gap over here now this gap means what you had the uh, endonucleus and exonucleus acting over here so have they they have removed the certain nucleotides from here okay gap bana diya hai okay then it becomes easy for them to go for the strand invasion and uh, results in the formation of the loop forming the heteroduplex jo bhi apne dekha so you can see नीचे वाला स्ट्रांड इफ यू सी इट इज एबल टू गो एंड डू दी स्ट्रांड इनवेशन लाइक दिस सो इवेंचुअली दिस इज गोइंग टू गो लाइक दिस सो यहाँ पे क्या हुआ आपका हॉलीडे जंक्शन बना क्लियर देर आर थ्री डिफरेंसेस आर देर पहला कट वॉज ओवर हियर देन द स्ट्रांड इनवेशन माइग्रेशन वॉज है रिजल्टिंग इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द हॉलीडे जंक्शन एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन दॉरिजेंटल वर्टिकल प्लेन द क्लीवेज ऑफ द डी एन ए यू आर हैविंग क्रॉस ओवर ऑफ द नॉन क्रॉस ओवर प्रोडक्ट second scenario only one strand was having the nick okay third scenario the same chromosome is having the two nicks okay so this is like when you have a double strand break a uh, double strand dna break because of the some damaging agents or whatever the uv radiations it can be okay so again this is how it is going to repair with the help of the homologous chromosome yeah so you can see over here So you can see that in this condition you have got now four sorry not four two holiday junctions. Yes, you are going to have here two holiday junctions. जब एक था so we had got those two scenarios. Now here we have got the two holiday junctions, so we are going to have the four scenarios. So if you just see, if you just follow over here, blue, yellow, blue. yellow okay then this uh, blue and yellow blue and then this entire thing you either you can have this full this blue and then this entire thing i'm just showing this one okay the rest you can do yourself let's go one by one of oh, all this time here okay so let's go one by one so you can have this one c blue d okay and the entire thing so over here either you can have the other one is blue sorry blue yellow yellow entire yellow are you guys able to follow me yes ma'am ha huh? see see that's what na they have written also either you can have cleavage at 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 yani ki ye yahan se jud jayega okay or you can have cleavage at 2 and 4 so depending on these scenario you can have different combinants okay so you can have recombinant duplexes and non recombinant duplexes but you need to understand whether the cut is happening in the vertical plane or in the horizontal plane abhi aise mein hame samajh mein nahi aata you just have to imagine that's why i showed that video like how the chromosomes are getting rotated okay and then the vertical and the horizontal cut is happening this image you can find in the google also just go through once i mean no one is going to ask like how the cut is made and all but please do understand like whenever the double strand break is there and it is undergoing the repair it's not necessary that even this is going to be there sirf ek bhi ho sakta hai you can have two also okay either you can have only one holiday junction form or you can have two also so depending on the condition like kitna aapka dna damage hai depending on that it is going to have the uh, the holiday junctions and the repair accordingly clear guys yes ma'am okay yes ma'am i just want to take this much only 